to the wonderful pure words of God, King James, Holy Bible, Romans 5, verse 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. What does it say, therefore? You got to go in chapter 4. And you got to go to the verse 25. It says, But for us also to whom shall be imputed righteousness, if we believe on him that raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead. Romans 4, 25. Who, that's Christ, Jesus our Lord, from the dead, who was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. Please, please read. Who was delivered for our offenses? You? Your pastor, the Pope in Rome? Moses, Peter, Paul, Christ. Christ was delivered for our offenses and was raised again for our justification. He died for our sins. That's very important. But he was risen again on the third day. As he said he would, he did for our justification. Praise be to God. Then, therefore, being justified. What does it mean? Made just. Simple as that. By faith. No works. If you are preaching a gospel in which you Put your works as a very important fundamental element to your salvation, you are not preaching the word of truth. Therefore, being justified by faith, what does it mean? You just believe what Christ has done. The consequence is wonderful. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. By whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope for the glory of God. I'm going to leave it here. I want to encourage you. Please. You see this verse? You need to understand this. It's simple, but you need to ask the Lord, please open my eyes, Lord. Because Satan is blinding the majority of the people out there. People that say they're Christian, they go to church, eh? To the glorious gospel of Christ. Satan makes them believe through their servants, his servants that preach this, that they need to do works to be saved and justified. To be reconciled, justified, saved, sealed. Therefore, being justified, how? It says, by faith, we are peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So important. You got the mediator, the Lord Jesus Christ. We got God, and we got you having peace with God, and being justified by faith, by believing through our Lord Jesus Christ. And by whom also we have access by faith into this grace, present grace, you see, wherein we stand, not for Stand, not fall, and rejoice in all for the glory of God. My dear friend, whoever you are, man or woman, young, old, Jew or Gentile, doesn't matter. You don't need religion. 
You don't need any religion. You need to believe how the Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Do you want to be saved? Do you want to go to heavenly places at the end of this earthly life? Remember you are the sinner, Christ is the Savior. <clears throat> for all a sinner can show the glory of God being justified freely through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. God made Christ for us righteousness, redemption, sanctification, wisdom. Christ is the power of God. The gospel of Christ is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also the Greek. It doesn't matter you are bond or free, man or woman, old, young, north, south, east and west of God, of this earth of God. You believe this gospel, the gospel of the cross. How the Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried, rose again third day according to the scriptures. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God. Priceless, is it? No, there is a price tag. The blood of Christ. We go through our Lord Jesus Christ. Be safe, be sealed. Have a great day. Grace and peace to all.